Hey, I'm Margo, and today I'm gonna to show you how to set up a click track that goes to your in-ear monitors or headphones and not to your audience in Ableton Live. Um, this is an amazing trick if you are a live performer or if you're doing live streaming. Um, for example, I stream on Twitch. I do a lot of live looping and I need to hear the click in order to get started with my loops. But obviously I don't want my viewers to be listening to the metronome all day. So um, I can send a separate line to myself and the audience will hear a different thing. Um, and it's actually not that difficult to set up. So the first thing that you're gonna need is an audio interface that has more than two outputs. So I'm using the Scarlett 6i6. So I have six outputs um, and all you really need is two pairs, right? Two stereo outputs. Um, if you have the Scarlett 2i2, which I know is a really popular interface, um, this trick is not gonna work for you. Um, you need to have another set. Other than that, you just need Ableton Live. So um, let's take a look in live. Okay, so here we are in live. I have three tracks set up. Um, as kind of just like a simplified set you might work with if you're performing live, right? Say we're gonna just drag some drum loops into this track and then over here with the keys, I'm gonna have that hooked up to my Nord maybe, and then my vocals. So the first step is of course to go into your audio preferences here in live and make sure that you've chosen your audio interface uh, as the audio input and output of course. And then you also wanna make sure you've uh, configured the inputs and outputs. So for example, if I'm gonna be using like my mic, a guitar, and then also my Nord, I have to make sure that I at least have three, four, um, activated and then for the outputs which of course for this tutorial is the important thing you definitely need to have two sets of stereo output so I have three four um, activated um, and one two all right now um, I'm just gonna change this to three four that's where my Nord usually is plugged into my vocals I would route from channel one you can see um, it's picking up my microphone that little meter um, so I've got my mic coming from one Nord from 3.4, and now let's check out the outputs over here in the master track. All right, so in this master track, we have two outputs, the Q and master. All right, so the Q out is your metronome. So all you're gonna do is just change it to 3.4 or whatever output aligns with your, you know, where you're plugging in your headphones, your inner monitors. For me, it's on 3.4. And then the master can still go out to one, two. So now what we've got going on is the click is gonna to go to your ears as well as these preview sounds in the browser, okay? So um, you might not want your audience to hear when you're scrolling through sounds, like picking things out. And so the cue includes the browser preview sounds as well as the uh, Ableton's metronome, right? The built-in metronome. Cool. So we can see when the metronome is on that we're reading it here and not here. Sweet, all right. The problem is with this setup is that now in 3.4, you're only gonna be hearing the metronome and you will not be hearing the rest of the track. So when I play these drums, for instance, you can see it's coming out of one, two, but not three, four. And likely you're gonna wanna hear your accompaniment as well. So there's two ways to solve this problem. And one of them is by going into the software for your interface, which in this case, is the focus right control. So we have device settings and output routing. What you want is output routing. Um, and then we wanna change the uh, configuration of line output for three, four. So likely it comes on playback DAW and then three, four. So you're gonna wanna change it to a custom mix. And then you don't really need this. That's just for this tutorial. That's my vocal, uh, my mic here. Um, what you do want is both one, two, and three, four. So um, if you just have it on three, four, right, it'll come up like this, but you also want to include the rest of the sounds that are coming through the DAW. So I have one, two, and three, four, so now I'm gonna hear everything. All right, so that's one way to do it. Another way is to use return tracks in live. So I'm gonna add two return tracks. I'm gonna name one in-ear mix, and then this one will be main mix. Okay, and then I'm gonna send the in-ear mix instead of to the master, we'll go to three, four. And then the main mix you could still send out to the master since the master's going to one, two, or you could change it to one, two as well, all right? 
Okay, now um, we are gonna highlight all of the tracks that you have. And instead of audio to the master, you are gonna send the audio to sends only. Okay, now when I play my drum track, Right? I'm playing it. We can see here that the signal is going, um, but we're not hearing it because it's being sent to sends only and not out to our ears. So at this point, basically, you just use your send knobs to send um, whatever mix you want to either of these channels. So if you want to send everything out to um, your main mix, then you would just take send D and turn it all the way up. If you're in your mix, you want, let's say you want all of your vocal and then everything else you want, like a little bit less than that, because for singers, a lot of times we want a little bit less. Um, you want to hear your vocal really clearly. So now we've got the different levels going to the different places. And um, yeah, so now you can just have your click going to your ears, have a specific mix that you'd like going to your ears, and then send everything else uh, full to the audience. So the last thing you need to do is just make sure that your headphones are plugged into the right output. So for example, on the Scarlet, I've got, you can see there on the right hand side, I've got two different headphone outputs. Um, the one on the left, um, the first one, number one, um, it's linked up with um, output one, two, and then the second one is three, four. So that's how I knew to send everything to three, four, as opposed to like, you know, five, six or something like that or whatever you have. So you just have to make sure that you know uh, where your headphone, out headphone output is going so you can route everything correctly. All right, so I hope that was helpful for you. And um, if you found it useful, please subscribe to my channel. I'll be releasing a bunch of tutorials related to uh, Ableton Live. And um, feel free in the comments to ask me any questions or to um, propose any other topics you might wanna cover um, relating to um, music production or live performance with Ableton Live.